Number 12. Woo, doggy, look at this thing. We got to get a common denominator. But the first thing that draws my eyes is I see an N squared plus 9N plus 18. I see a trinomial. I'm like, hey, I got to break that down. What multiplies to give me 18? 1 and 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. But I need to add to give me the 9. It's a 3 and the 6. So this guy's an N plus 3 and N plus 6 is what he is. <gasps> Well, this is an n plus 3 here. This is an n plus 6 here. So our common denominator is going to be an n plus 3 and n times an n plus 6. So on him, the first piece, he's already got an n plus 3. All I need to multiply him by is an n plus 6. So the top gets multiplied by an n plus 6. This has an n plus 6, so all he needs to be multiplied by is an n plus 3. So I multiply him by an n plus 3. This guy already has all the ingredients, so I just leave him as a 4n plus 10. So all our denominators are n plus 3 times n plus 6. Once all the denominators are the same, you can just set everything in the numerator on the left equal to the, what's in the right numerator. So we have 2 times the n plus 6 plus, that's a plus between those, 4 times the n plus 3 must equal a 4n plus 10. All right, let's distribute through 2n plus 12 plus 4 distributed through 4n plus 12 equals 4n plus 10. 2n and 4n, that's 6n. 12 and 12 is 24 equals 4n plus 10. So now I'm going to subtract 4n from both sides. Subtract 4n from both sides. I get 2n plus 24 equals the number 10. I just need to move the number over to be with the other number. And we'll get a nice, pretty little negative answer. 2n is equal to negative 14. Divide by 2, what do you get? Negative 7 is your answer for problem 12 here.